Hello, in this video, we're going to compute the value of the cotangent of 2 pi over 3. Let's go ahead and go through the entire process one step at a time solution. So let's start by realizing that the cotangent of 2 pi over 3, well, cos cotangent is really cosine over sine. So this is cosine of 2 pi over 3. over the sine of 2 pi over 3. So we just have to figure out these values and then we can plug them in and then we have the cotangent of 2 pi over 3. So let's start with the sine of 2 pi over 3. So when we're looking for the sine of 2 pi over 3, you want to start by drawing a little picture and realize that 2 pi over 3 is here in this quadrant, quadrant 2. This is the angle 2 pi over 3. And I know that because this angle here is pi, and if you think of pi as a number over 3, 3 pi over 3, it's pi over 3 less, so it's likely to end up in this quadrant here. Now we're going to find what's called the reference angle. So from this picture we can find it. So the reference angle is the angle made between the terminal side of our angle here, so 2 pi over 3. I'm going to put a yellow dot there, so here and then the positive x, uh, the x-axis. And it's a positive angle. So it's the positive angle made between the terminal side of your angle and the x-axis. You can see from this picture that it's clearly pi over 3 because 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 is pi over 3. So the picture gives you the reference angle. It's extremely important. Once you have this reference angle, it's a lot easier. So now we can look at the sine of pi over 3. We look at the trig function value of the reference angle. In this case, that's the square root of 3 over 2. Well, here's the key fact. The trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are exactly the same, except for possibly a sine difference. So we have to think about, is the sine of 2 pi over 3 positive or is it negative? Well, if we think about the unit circle, on the unit circle, every ordered pair is of the form cosine theta comma sine theta. So the y-coordinate on the unit circle is the sine of the angle. So here, in our picture, the y-coordinate is positive, right? Because the y-coordinate is positive in quadrant 2. All the y-values here are positive. So it's positive. So the sine of 2 pi over 3 is going to be the square root of 3 over 2 as well. Okay, we don't have to change the sine. As far as the cosine of 2 pi over 3, well, the cosine of pi over 3 is one half from memory, right? So from memory. So what is the cosine of two pi over three, right? What is that going to be? Well, that's really interesting because cosine is the x coordinate on the unit circle. And over here, the x coordinate is negative. So it's going to be negative one half. So this is actually going to be a negative one half in the numerator. I know it's a lot of information, but like this is trigonometry, right? This is so important. Um, yeah, this is this is a tougher problem, I think. So this is negative one half, and then when you're dividing by the square root of three over two, you really multiply by the reciprocal. This is two over root three, and then these cancel, so you get negative one over the square root of three, and that would be the answer. You can rationalize it, but I will not. I will just leave it like this. Boom. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.